everybody, I'm Karen, this is Handmade, and if you drink a lot of wine, I have got the perfect project for you. Or if you just need to get organized and you need a cork board, that's what we're making today, but it's made out of wine corks. Let's get started. So we're starting with a tray, and yours can be any size or shape that you want. Just make sure that it doesn't have any decorative elements that would get in the way of the project. Then arrange your wine corks to see how many will fit in your tray. My 10 inch tray held 91 wine corks, which I bought in bulk online because I don't drink that much wine. So before I glue it together, I'm going to paint the tray with chalk paint to give it a matte finish. I know, I know, I'm just turning it from one shade of white to another, but you can paint yours any color that you like. And while that dries, go ahead and also paint your corks. I'm doing white, pink, and gray, but again, you can do any color you like or even paint your design onto the corks after gluing them onto the tray. Either way, just make sure that they're dry before moving on to the gluing. So when it comes to gluing, I'd recommend using something like tacky glue because you want a glue that doesn't dry immediately so that you have time to nudge the corks around and rearrange them if you want to. once all of the corks are on there, we just have one more step, and that is to add a hanger. I'm using a thick piece of twine, which I got at my local craft store, and I'm using a permanent craft adhesive to glue it down. You really want a strong, heavy-duty glue for this step. However, I realized that with the corks already in there, I couldn't clip the twine into place while it dried, so instead, I just placed the clothespins underneath the twine to hold it up and keep it in place. And once that dried, I flipped it over and I added a second layer of glue just to really make sure that it was held in place. So that's all there is to it. This is fairly heavy, so you're gonna want to make sure that you're hanging it up on a sturdy nail. But I think it would look great by your desk or by your front door, or in a dorm room. So I would love to know in a comment what colors you would decorate yours with. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.